was a perfect segue, Ms. Rosemary, because somehow, after looking very poor on offense, the Pittsburgh Steelers find a way to beat the Ravens 17-10. to 10. They are in tie for first place in the division. Uh, we uh, are first place in the division. Oh, oh, you are. That's right, because you beat them. Yeah, right. undisputed so, first place. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so, Colin, explain this to me, because – you still want Matt Canada gone, though, right? Oh, yeah. No, no. I mean, had you looked at the offense today on paper, it was bad. First quarter, miserable. Right. Second quarter, really bad. Third quarter, extremely bad. No. And then the fourth quarter, we put together some drives because we found out, oh, yeah, George Pickens is really good at this whole football thing. Mm. Jalen Warren is somehow just sliding through tackles, jumping over guys. Like, we give our playmakers a chance – um, and you could see the Steelers were driving towards the second quarter. And you could see Kenny Pickett was actively ignoring his radio and he was calling plays off of his wristband. Oh. And the Steelers were driving down the field. Huh. Like everybody's looking at it. And you could see that there's calls coming in because he goes in like this and he just kind of shakes his head and he opens up his playbook and he's calling plays from his wristband playbook. Okay. Like he was actively ignoring Matt Canada's plays during the game and he looked amazing. Okay. And then Matt Canada starts call- calling plays again and then he just looks tremendously like trash we go run run pass run run pass punt i would understand you look at this on paper and you see 17 to 10 and say oh well they had to get some offense going they had two touchdowns no 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 no. we had a safety three field goals and a touchdown at the last possible second because george pickens looked really good now you might say well at least you had to drive down the field to get all these points Uh, no 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 our defense got all but three of our points they got 14 points Let's start with the first field goal. The first field goal came off a play where uh, Jer- Jeremy, not Jeremy Hill, Justice Hill, Jeremy Hill used to play for the Bengals. He fumbled in that playoff game to give us that win. And another Hill, Justice Hill, is slicing through our defense. And Larry Gogan Joby just comes out of nowhere and just Mike Tyson's the football out of his hand. Yeah. And we drive down the field and then we immediately choke out around the 30 yard line like we always do and stall out and we had to kick a field goal. And then we go back to the third, the fourth quarter, and we had a punt blocked and go out of the back of the end zone for safety. Then it was 10-5. to 5. It was Scorigami. And then finally, we put a nice drive together. We went down the field, and we stall out in the red zone and have to kick a field goal and make it 10-8. <coughs> now, baseball we eventually game? get the ball. This is the O's <laughs> game right here? No, no. no, no. <laughs> I, and, then, and then it gets yeah, worse. Yeah, yeah, for some sure. reason, Kevin Austin, Calvin Austin got hurt, but he was back in the game. But we still kept Gunnar Olszewski – Noted fumbler and noted horrible kick returner back there. Not only did he mock the first team all pro punt returner for the Patriots. Since he's come for the Steelers, he's been bad. He's been really bad. Really bad. And we saw that here. He coughed up the football and gave the Ravens a chance to put the game away. The Ravens drive all the way down and they throw a pass. And finally, what I've always been saying, let the rookies play. Joey Porter Jr. picks it off in the end zone and we turn it around. About time. And then. And then off that interception, we drove and we scored a touchdown. So those points came off an interception. And our other three points came off a a TJ Watt uh, fumble recovery after I think Alex Highsmith got a strip sack on Lamar Jackson. (sighs) But our defense just showed up to play, and our special team showed up to play, minus Gunnar Olszewski because he's bad. Um, And so our defense just carried us to this victory. Our offense looks like complete doo-doo. We fell backwards into this win. We are currently failing upwards. And I like that we win, but I would have much preferred we lost this game because if we lost this game, I don't see any reason for Met Canada to not be fired after this week, especially going into our bye week. This was our chance to have him fired. He looked terrible calling plays, and this was our chance. And we blew it because our defense just decided to go super sane and win us the game again. This is yeah. the third time they've done this this year. All three of our wins are because our defense – actually, no, the Raiders game, our offense looked good. The Browns and the Ravens, we only won because of our defense. Divisional games, you guys do it. But look, all right, so let me ask you this. Are you guys closer to the Bears, who just played their greatest game of, of their existence, or are you closer to Washington, who, who, if we get the right coaches in there, is we have the talent to win, but, you know, we just need the right coaches. Who are you closer to? What, what's Definitely the commanders with the coaches. I mean – you look at this team on paper. You look at our defense. Our defense is stacked. And you look at our offense. Outside of some holes on the offensive line, 
we have all of these weapons and we should not be this statistically bad. Do you understand that it's harder for our offense to be this consistently bad than it is for them to occasionally accidentally be good? No. That's how bad this Matt Canada is. He is consistently bad, which is the worst kind of bad. Some people are bad, but they have good games. This guy has been consistently bad for the past three years, and he is still calling our plays. And you saw it, the graphics up there. He scored 18 points per game. Every other team has at least 22. Ugh. I don't understand why he is still up in the booth calling plays and not sitting on his couch playing Madden. He's bad. Maybe. Really bad. Maybe him playing Madden is what got him here. Somebody thought he was good. <laughs> and maybe they can get it done. But listen, listen, I, I, I understand what you're going through. I'm going to let you kind of cool off. I, I watched the show from last week, and you were you were fired up then. And you're still the same, same energy, yeah. even though you won the game. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and move on.